me, when I think of, you know, going out and trying to catch these red drum, I always am thinking of like reeds and oyster beds and just scenic locations. But fishing in Rudy is a little different because, you know, you're essentially fishing people's backyards. Um, there's jets flying over you. You're really not that far from the ocean front. You can see the hotels in the distance. And uh, it's a small playing field. So, you know, if the fish are here, we're gonna find them. I got a call from Robbie and he was like, hey man, it's on, it's happening. So like, we gotta go out here and catch these fish. We headed out midday, tides looked right, the conditions were great. Left around 11, 30, 12 o'clock. That was when the tide was gonna switch to the outgoing tide because it had rained previously the day before. So I wanted all that water, all that rainwater to get out of there. Um, it was a little slow to start off. The current really wasn't moving. We were marking fish. We caught a couple of drum. Jordan pointed out that an osprey dove down behind us and picked up a puppy drum, but it couldn't lift it up, so it dropped it in the water. So I was like, okay, let's try over there. And then it was just game on from there. Oh, the nice drum. Woo! Oh, that's a nice drum. That's a super nice drum. I threw in there first cast and got a you know really oh. nice overslot drum and yeah, from that point go. on right. it was it was nonstop. We pretty much didn't stop catching fish the rest of the day. There we go, nice one. It's a nice redfish right there. Wow, beautiful red. Nice spot on the tail. Alrighty. Yeah, there we go. Robbie's on another one. We use anywhere from a 2500 to a 3000 series reel. I like to put 15 to 20 pound braid on it just for a little more abrasion resistance. You know, we were fishing the docks. We ended up having a fish that got locked up on a dock and we were able to motor over to it and pull it off. I don't know if you would have been able to do it with the 10 pound just because of how small that is versus, you know, a barnacle on a piling with a 20 inch red drum pulling on the other side. That one. Aha. Yeah. Got a nice red. I've been getting these fish all afternoon. Robbie saw a school up there. I was talking about it right when he hooked up. Uh, springtime fishing here in Virginia Beach and the weather's heating up. We're starting to get a nice speckled trout bite. I caught one earlier. We've been catching these drum all afternoon, so we're gonna keep at it. I think there's a couple more fish in this school, so hopefully we can get on them. Let's get out there. Wow, that was a pretty one right there. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one, that's a nice one. I've been catching these reds out here in Rudy Inlet. It's uh, late April here in Virginia Beach. It's really starting to heat up here in the fishing. Fishing's been slow, but man, this, this, these warm weather punches we've gotten, uh, water temperatures have really risen, and we're seeing these nice overslot reds with these nice blue tails coming into play here in Virginia Beach. A couple speckled trouts in the mix, but wow, these things are super fun. Oh, Robbie's gone one. There he goes. That was a nice one right there. That was rad. So me and Robbie kind of looked at each other when we saw that osprey dive, and we're like, should we try over there? We've never really fished that area before. Um, we've always tried, you know, I've gone over there on kayaks and thrown at it, but never really had much luck. But, you know, we were off to a slow start and we saw some action, so we just kind of investigated it. Sometimes having your eyes and ears open to what's around you can really help. And uh, today that was kind of the ticket for us. Oh, ready? There you go. Got one. There, there we go. What is this on the new Z-Man? Z-Man swim bait. You know, they were just eating up those Z-Man swim baits and we were throwing pretty much everything we had at them. Robbie caught a couple on an ice rod. So the day we went, we actually brought a little ice rod and I couldn't throw a jig with it. So I put a piece of cut bait on it and we ended up hooking, I think three puppy drum on the little ice rod with, uh, I think it was eight pound braid, landed two of those. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Boom, on the ice rod, that's, that's so rad. It was really a really fun time and 
I think those are the days on the water that really get you stoked about fishing and wanting to head out there more. To have those really big highs of the day, you kind of have to have some lows to just put it in perspective. So it was a great trip. Um, it's springtime in Virginia Beach. The water's heating up. There's more species coming in in the coming weeks. And, you know, I'm really excited to, you know, stay fishing. You know, we're looking forward to it. Hopefully the speckled trout start to show up here in the next couple days too, and we can get on that nice bite as well.